In today's video, we're gonna look at a brand new tool that's designed to make your life easier. Now, no matter what kind of yard you've got, eventually you're gonna to need to pull out a root, a shrub, or maybe something else. And oftentimes the problem isn't that you can't pull it out, it's that you can't really get a grip on it. So this tool is called a brush grubber, and this thing is pretty crazy looking. It's kind of like a bear trap, it's got these super sharp teeth, and this is designed to clamp onto whatever you wanna pull out, and it's not supposed to let go. Now this first root isn't too big, but I couldn't get it out of the ground trying to push it with the bucket. Pulling on it, nothing would make it move. So I'm just gonna attach this grubber to it, and you can see I didn't spend a lot of time on it. You just kind of spread the jaws, and then those teeth pull in. But the genius of this tool is, the harder you pull, the tighter those jaws will grip. And supposedly this is gonna make sure that it won't let go. Now here I'm using a tractor to pull this thing out. You can see in just a few seconds, that thing never let go, and it pulled the root completely out. Now that isn't too big, so I'm gonna put this thing to a real test of something a lot bigger. Here we've got an old bed. This thing's about 30 years old and nobody took care of this thing. It's overgrown, plants are growing into one another, and unfortunately I just can't save everything. So I need to remove a shrub, but this thing was a beast. And I've got ropes and chains, but the problem is you've gotta know how to tie a knot that's gonna hold, and you've gotta have the right spot to put it on. The beauty of this grubber is your teeth are gonna bite right into it, but my concern here was would this thing be able to hold on tight enough to pull out a shrub that's this big? The other good news is you don't need a tractor to use this tool. All you've gotta do is tie it to something else to do the pulling. That can be a car, a truck, or even something like a golf cart. This grubber isn't cheap. I paid a hundred bucks for this thing, and this is not any type of a sponsored video. I bought this thing on Amazon, and once again, I spread the jaws, put it on the nearest limb that I could get to, and started to pull with my tractor. And as soon as I lifted up the bucket, that shrub was not gonna move. You can see that I had to kind of go back and forth because you want to think about those roots. They're going every which way. So by turning the tractor right to left, going back and forth, I slowly began to break the roots out and finally this thing was free. I was so excited when this thing came out. It only took me about 10 minutes to get it out and it really did give me a fight. If I had tried to do this by hand with a shovel, I probably would have been going at it all day and I'm not even sure it would have come out. I've used this tool a couple of times after recording this video with the same results. This thing was really good, but of course the downside is it costs 100 bucks and it is pretty much a single use tool. But if you've got a yard where you plan to do renovations or you need to yank some stuff out, this is definitely the way to go. I am super impressed and this thing around here is gonna get a lot of use. Now you're gonna notice around this part of my yard, it looks like a dump. And at the moment, all I'm doing is cleaning it up. The previous owners had horses. They're gonna ride them through here. So I don't really know what their intentions were, but I'm gonna get rid of all the junk. And I might put some type of a grass in here. But for the most part, I've got plenty of lawn on the other side. So I'm probably just gonna plant some pine trees to get it to fill back in. The brush grubber is a really dangerous looking tool, but that thing works fantastic. So if you have any type of a need to pull anything out, you definitely wanna check one out. They've got a bunch of different sizes and you can check out the link on Amazon that I put in the description below.